Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange where I put together a lot of 3D metal models. Today I'm putting together Metal Earth's fire engine. It's a fire engine, they use them to put out fires, what is there to say? Got a neat little picture on the back of a fire engine, an actual fire engine. It looks to be a somewhat complicated model, otherwise I know what a fire engine is but I really don't know anything beyond that about this model. Let me open it up, take a look at the insides, the directions, and put it together. A fire engine. A little tap to get everything out of the way. Inside we have our two metal sheets with the different fire engine parts ready to cut out, be bent, attached, and put together and two pieces of paper for the directions starting of course with the one that has fascinations on the top that's usually page one and starting with page one and the Metal Earth 3D Metal Model Kit the line drawing, the QR code, scan it with your phone it'll take you to a 360 view as well as maybe some other things we have little box with one of the parts showing the insertion tabs, fold lines, and insertion holes. You know those pliers are helpful for assembly, this is true. We have the legend when you see an E pointing at one side of a part that's telling you the engraved side, N E is the non-engraved side. That's not always perfectly clear because sometimes the non-engraved side will have some engraving on them. Basically the engraved side is the side that's going to show towards the outside when the part is complete and the non-engraved side is something that's going to be on the inside that you can't see. And this is the attention point hand telling you pay attention to this for a number of reasons, maybe alignment purposes, you know these two tabs need to go together here or else it'll, it'll come together wrong. Sometimes there'll actually be instructions saying or tips saying what you're supposed to be paying attention to. Here we have the older part of the legend, never was listed as legend, but I always considered it part of the key or legend. The blue circle, when you see that in in the instructions, by a connection point, is telling you to insert the tab and fold it over 90 degrees. Green triangle means to insert and twist 90 degrees to secure. And here, a little note: pull and screw metal tab 90 degrees to tighten, and that does usually work, with the exception of they occasionally slip out of your hand, out of your tool, and doesn't work. But for the most part, and then we have the two sheets here, a diagram of them, and I'll just pick one to show you. This is basically telling you where all the parts are pointing to them. So if we needed part two, it's right here, this long piece right here. So we would know where the parts are to put them together in the assembly flow chart, which starts over here on page two. Assembly flowchart starting with part one and that before mentioned part two. They come together and then three looks like we're starting on the ladder. Here's four and you just follow the arrows assembling the parts. Occasionally you have sort of a sub assembly. Once you're done with page two, flip over to the inside for page three and continue on with the assembly. And see here we have sort of a sub-assembly. You do this two times, you take T and you curve it around, you fold up the end pieces, and then attach them in these two locations. Just keep going. Another sub-assembly of how to kind of put this together. Somewhat, sort of, kind of. And then I went to page four to continue with the assembly. Just follow along, follow the arrows, put the parts together. We're done with the first sheet of paper, so we move on to the second, to page five, which should be on the outside. Or maybe not. It's on the inside. Either way, just pick up at the top, continue to follow the arrows, and then we have page six. Flip over for seven, and then on to eight. And once we get to the bottom, we are done and have our fire engine completed and ready to display. 
Let's take a moment to talk about the tools that I use. This is my standard set that I use in most every build. I have long needle nose pliers and flat nose pliers useful for a variety of different things. I have flush clippers that I use to cut the parts off the trees. It makes it quick and easy. And then I have some precision tweezers, one with a very pointed end, one that's had the pointed end ground down slightly, and one with a flat sort of curved end great for getting into curved areas. And then I have a standard set of tweezers with an angled tip. These come in one of the Iconics models and I love them and use them a lot. When it comes to shaping rounded parts, there are many options. I used dowel rods for a long time. I sharpened the ends of two of them with a pencil sharpener. These two are great for making cone shapes. Another option is a cheap drill bit set. The set has quite a few different sizes to choose from. Another option is a set of step mandrels. Ring pliers or round nose pliers can be found with jewelry making tools and work wonderfully for curving delicate and or hard to get to areas. I have a sculpting set here that I occasionally use and they have all kinds of different shaped ends on them. Some flat, some angled, some spoon, there's a couple of hooks. They're useful for reaching in and bending and pushing and pulling tabs and shaping parts from the inside. We've looked briefly at the instructions. We've got the metal sheets at the ready, some tools to get us started. Let's make a fire engine.
To shape these cylindrical side pieces, I started with a drill bit that I knew that was a little bit too large just to get the curve started, then move to a smaller bit. It took me several attempts to get part 12 to stay in place while I secured it.
It would have probably been better to bend the outer pieces outward a little to make room, not the inner flaps. Don't forget to pull those little tabs out from around the band. They help the ladder assembly to rotate on top of the fire engine. This dowel rod is a bit small, but the part is so long it will stretch back open just a little. The instructions say to put the ladder assembly on before 25 and 26. I didn't quite listen and I had a real tough time getting the tabs to line up for the ladder.
I had to bend the tabs at a slight angle to allow them to slide into their slots.
I was a bit confused as to why this part did not want to sit flat, but then I realized there are three tabs, two at each end and one in the middle or the side, and I was putting the part on wrong. Now onto the wheels.
and I folded the tabs the wrong way. It was tricky holding the ladder assembly and body together while trying to bend over the tabs and hold them together. And now it's time to bring the top and bottom halves together. Lining up all the tabs can be tricky. And sometimes accidents happen.
And I now have completed the fire engine. It's a rather long, thin model. A little bit different with that than I expected. It is also neat, and I didn't plan this in any way. But much like the M1 Abrams tank that I just completed, this has a similar connection to make it turn like the turret of the tank. And it also, this lifts up and down and will turn back and forth. So that's, that's pretty cool. It doesn't extend, but we can't have everything. This is a little bit of a challenging model. Not terribly so, but rather time consuming. It took about three hours to build. I'm not complaining. It's just a lot of detail to it, so it takes quite a bit of time. The ladder itself just seemed to take forever because there's so many parts to it and, and so much, so many side pieces because it's made to extend. There's like several ladders at once. I get it. And as always, the wheels towards the end, getting wheels nice and straight, especially when they're this small and you, the connections, it just, it's hard to get it in the end get to where all the wheels are perfectly straight I always have a challenge with that but it doesn't look too bad it did kind of get crushed at one point but I'm or not the wheels but the entire body of the vehicle got crushed at one point but I think I mostly fixed it so it's a little funky mine is just a little bit funky but not too bad if you have any questions or comments as always leave them down below thank you for watching and keep on keeping on